Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing an RX 460 build guide. This PC meant for gaming will only cost $400. Let's get into it. <laughs> So AMD just released their newest budget GPU on Polaris' architecture, and if you're a gamer on a budget, this may be the card for you. As we've seen in videos, the RX 460 will generally push out a few more FPS than Nvidia's 750 Ti, which was what some would consider to be the best uh, budget option for a long time. I personally own a 750 Ti, and I'm also releasing a video tomorrow that will compare some of the 750 Ti's graphics to Skylake's integrated graphics, so if you're interested in that, you can just uh, go ahead and click on the middle of the screen and it will bring you right to it if it's released. So enough about that, let's get into the parts. For a CPU, I chose an Intel Pentium G4400. This is a dual core CPU clocked at 3.3 gigahertz. It also has three megabytes of level three cache. If you're just going to be gaming, there's no reason to shell out a ton of money for a spendy CPU, so the G4400 should be enough for our build. If eventually the G4400 isn't cutting it for you, you can upgrade to a core i3, i5, or even an i7 at some point if you need some extra processing horsepower. Power. For a CPU cooler, I chose a Hyper 212 Evo. Pretty much the best option for air cooling is the Hyper 212 Evo. It comes in pretty cheap at only $25. Not much to say about it, but if you want to skip it and use Intel's stock cooler, you can probably get away with that for this build. For motherboard, I chose a Gigabyte GAH100MA Micro ATX. This will run all of our parts just fine and will work as it's intended for a budget motherboard. It sports up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 2133 MHz RAM. Reviews say the memory is a little hard to get in and has some serious graphics card sag, but the sag shouldn't be a problem considering the RX 480 is a pretty small card. For memory, I chose a single 8 gig stick of Kingston Fury 2133 MHz RAM. This is DDR4 memory, so it will be compatible with Skylake. It's only one stick, so if you want to upgrade to 16 gigs in the future, you can definitely do that. There are cheaper options, but most of them don't have heat spreaders, and personally, I like heat spreaders on my RAM, but it's an opinion thing, so if you don't care about that, there are cheaper options, but you're only going to save about $5. For storage, I chose a Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB hard drive. Pretty simple, reliable 1TB drive that runs at 7200 RPM. I chose a hard drive since this is a gaming rig, and we're on a pretty tight budget. If you want, you can add an SSD or get rid of the hard drive altogether and just have an SSD. It's a matter of what you need for your PC. So for a graphics card, I chose AMD's new RX 460. This card just came out, and it's performance is comparable to Nvidia's older 750 Ti. The RX 460 will outperform the 750 Ti just by a little bit, but the prices are still about $20 higher than uh, AMD advertised, so if you wait a week or two, you might be able to save a few bucks. This card features 2GB of VRAM and a base clock of 1220MHz. This card requires a single 6-pin adapter and has a TDP of 75 watts. So for a case, I chose an NZXT Source 210. Pretty simple case, but I figured since our hardware isn't going to be anything extravagant, we wouldn't need a side panel to show it off. The front panel only has two USB ports, and they're only USB 2.0. Basically, it's a pretty simple case, but we'll get the job done on a budget. And finally, for a power supply, I chose an EVGA 430 watt 80 plus bronze. Very good power supply, I have it myself, and it works just fine for low spec builds. Only problem I have with mine is the power cable won't go all the way into the power supply. Not sure if I got a bad one or if it's a problem everyone has, but it's worth mentioning. As always, the PC part picker list is down in the description below, so if you want to go there and look at the parts, buy the parts, you can go ahead and do that. Leave the link in the description along with my Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I post updates about my videos there pretty often. So, uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead. My link's in the description. Anyway, guys, that's it for the build. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And until next time, thanks for watching.